Hey everyone, it's Eric from Garden Fork. This is my sister Tracy. We're in her yard. Um, we're going to be talking about using cultivators and tillers today. But first, um, would somebody watching, you type in here and let us know that you can hear the audio? Because um, otherwise it's just us going like this and it doesn't exactly work. So would one of, there's 17 people saying hello. Um, would someone type in and say, hey, Eric, we can hear you. That would be great. This is Hector. Hector can bark. And this is Marcus. Afternoon. Oh, and Barb's watching. Hey, Barb. Thank you for lunch, Barb. <laughs> it was good. All right. So what we're doing here today is we've already had a bunch of experts from Troy Belt headquarters. We're now out in the field. We are in uh, the suburbs of St. Louis. Marcus has come and he has brought um, two pieces of equipment for us. We've got a uh, cultivator and we've got the mother of all rototillers. Marcus, come on over. Sure. So say hello. Good afternoon, folks. There's your camera. How are we there. doing? So, all right. Someone is wanting to do something with their yard. Like this area here, we have some sod we want to tear up. What do we do? Do we go to the, do we buy a cultivator or do we buy a rototiller or do we buy both? Well, it all depends on your specific thing. Basically, the true option is, are we looking for stuff that's already been tilled already or are we looking at solid surface ground? If it's stuff that's already been tilled, like possibly a flower bed, or you're just trying to get rid of weeds, the cultivator would be your best bet right here. Or if you're looking at solid surface ground where you're trying to redo this grass patch here. Like tearing up that sod. Or you have completely dirt that hasn't been cultivated or tilled within the past year then I would definitely recommend the tiller. So it's been my experience that um, it's basically that same thing. I'm to the point where with my garden beds, I just need a cultivator because they've been established and mm -hmm. I dig them every year. I put in manure or whatever. Mm -hmm. My flower beds, I do the same thing. But if I wanted to start from the get-go or if I wanted, I have an area here like at my sister's house where you have grass and we want to tear that up. Oh, everyone can hear me. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> it was all Marcus. <laughs> Thanks, Barb. I appreciate that. Our boss is watching this, so we have to behave. So. <laughs> all right. I want to go over a couple things here. First of all, just the sheer size. The cultivator is very easy to manage. The rototiller is a bigger machine. So, if you again, if you have established beds, I think this is going to be a lot easier if you want to tear up sod, we're going to use this. So Marcus, when you're talking to people and let's start with the cultivator, just before we started, you fired this up Yeah. and you showed me what we could do over here. Do you want to? Yeah, we'll, we'll, do, this, we'll do this again here real quick. So basically here's, here's a perfect example of a solid bed surface. And if you can kind of see what we did, I actually played back and forth for like 90 seconds, if you want to show that dirt right there, on a solid piece of dirt. Now, as you can see, it went me back and forth, but basically, you really didn't get deep because it's hard, it's too solid. Right. And it's great for stuff that's already been pre-tilled or something that maybe has weeds in it, or even if you have a mulch bed, you could even cultivate that to try to help yourself get rid of reeds or also try to get rid of um, the weeds within the mulch bed to get that help eliminate that. But here, I'll, I'll start it up real quick. Yeah, let's fire this puppy up. And as you can see, from our bowl, we added some true fuel for cycle. And basically, you give yourself a few pumps here. I know it says 10, but we already set it up, so she shouldn't need too much. And then... One more time. This, so it doesn't, you know. So, uh, really key, I think, four cycle part of this, the four cycle string trimmer from Troy Bell. And it's so much easier than the two cycle. That's, um, all right. Oh, here we are. Now, 
as you can see, it really didn't get much, but it is starting to dig in. It takes a lot longer with a cultivator than it would be with a tiller. Does it dig a lot? No. Actually, no, no, I mean, the, the engine itself, as long as you have a steady dual control on the handle, you shouldn't have any issues. And luckily, this is your throttle. So in other words, that's what turns the the blades itself. But as you can see around here, there's an automatic shut off. So if you must get out of control, the, th the wheels will stop turning and it'll just sit there running. And then it's just as simple as a the off. help help button. Like if you hit a rock. Hit a rock, hit, hit something that you shouldn't have. And, uh, like my plant. Or, or your plants <laughs> or anything like that, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you see, the cultivator is definitely designed for stuff that has already been pre-tilled within the past few months. So. And we're actually, what we're doing now is we're going to fire up the big puppy. We're going to tear up the side. But what I didn't realize, Marcus told me today, is that um, the these work in tandem, actually. That... Um, the these work in tandem actually that Troy Belt has. Um, I actually have a Troy Belt rototiller, and it is amazing. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut sod up. Oh, and I just um, something happened with our connection. It says it's please wait while we're trying to connect. Yeah, I'm not. 